this freestyle for the S10 classification. Looking forward to this one, James. Well, Orly Rivard of Canada, the only Canadian here. But she uh, looked, in fact, they all look very, very comfortable in the heats. The fast ladies in the center of the pool. Yeah, Rivard and Elodie Lorandi have shared the major honors in recent years. Lorandi is a world record holder. And she set that record in the World Championships in Montreal. It's a very young field. Lucas Sauce, the 15-year-old in lane one. Livia Javoyska in lane two. And Ellie Roulet, the third fastest qualifier. Can she get on the medal podium? Really, Rivard. Well, she is the America's record holder. Only half a second outside the time posted by this lady, Ludi Lorandi, the Paralympic champion, reigning European and world champion. Bianca Pat, the 16-year-old from Hungary. Lena Vats had a good heat this morning. The Swedes are well supported here. And the young GB swimmer, Zahra Maluli. The 13-year-old making her international debut and she's made it into the final. Rudy Lorandi in lane number four. The world record holder trying to retain that European title. And this could be a forecast of what the final may look like in Rio in a few months' time. Morandi, Rivard, top two in the world last year, top two in the world championships. And as expected, swimmer with the arm disability getting off the wall better, uh, off the block better than the swimmer with the leg disability. Jeff. Well, that's absolutely right, but she was also a lot better in streamlining than Elodie Lorandi, who's got two good arms. This S10 class for those with a minimal disability, so that big things like maybe just one withered calf or uh, maybe missing a few fingers from one hand, it could be it could be that minimal. This is a good start from Orly Rivard of Canada. And I've seen this happen before where Elodie Lorandi, who slipped back a couple of meters there, if she lets Rivard take... This time they're going round together and again Aurelie Rivard has made Elodie Lorandi pay possibly by half a body length and that is all costing the lady from France energy every single turn. 
your boy Skira Poland just at the top of your screen there in the red hat. Well, she keeps swimming right over onto the lane rope and then she veers back into the center of the lane as she gets to the turn. That's not a great way to swim 400 freestyle, but she is actually, for my, for my looking, Paul, she looks to be moving up on the two leading ladies. She does, and this is not a slow turn. Rivard and Lorandi just within a second of world, world record pace there. The, the advantage for Rivard is four hundredths of a second, but could this be a move by the Canadian here? She looks like she's just got a little bit of clear water between her and Lorandi. Well, you've got to admire the fitness of your boy skirt, who just out of shot there is coming back onto terms at the top of your picture there. She has absolutely eaten the lead that the two leading ladies have. She gets punished as she goes around the wall. That's where Rivard is strongest. But she is a worker and she is working to claw back that silver medal position from Elodie Lorandi. And if the French woman is not careful, she's going to lose it. Rivard. Her stroke shortening slightly now as they come close to the final 60 meters of this 400 meters freestyle. And look at this, your boy skirt is moving on terms. It's going to be very, very tight down the final 50. Rivard expects her to move out further on this turn. She does. Your boy skirt has lost ground. It's going to be a scrap for the bronze and silver. Can Rivard hang on for the gold medal? She's up to stroke rate, she's up to, up to kick rate. They're into the final 25 meters now. Elodie Lorandi desperately trying to get on terms, but I think she might have left it too late. Your boys are also trying to make a move. And here is only Rivard coming in to the last 10 meters. We'll keep an eye on the clock. It's gonna be a fantastic time. It's goal for Rivard. It's Lorandi just ahead of Jaboiska. The European champion again is Elodie Lorandi, but they could, could not catch the young Canadian for 34.65. That is a very, very fast time there for Rally Rivard. And she was made to work all the way there. Elodie Lorandi gave her a really good fight there. Rivard just had too much strength at the end. And Lorandi, Jaboiska, who came back like an absolute train there. Well, with fitness like that, it makes you wonder if Jaboiska would have done better to actually take the race out harder, to put her in a better place. Now, Elodie Lorandi, well, she's actually been quite a lot quicker. She's the world record holder at 4.32.79, set that in 2013, but she looked very, very happy with that swim. So I think it suggests that maybe a return to form after a uh, quite a long period of absence. This as they come into the final turn, the final 50. Good turns from Rivard, taking her away from, from Lorandi in every turn, and that's made the difference in the end. And Rivard coming away in the middle of the two Europeans, and the tussle there between Lorandi and Jaboiska for the European title. Just one there by Elodie Lorandi. Uh, the third European home will be the young Hungarian, Bianca Pat, who gets in 445.77, so she will win a European bronze medal. But Rivard, excellent swimming there from the Canadian, 434.65, Lorandi 435.54 is the European champion, ahead of Jaboiska and ahead of the